welcome everyone to um, our showcase for IIBA Australia's Business Analysis Professional Week. So that session is coming up on the last week of October, the 26th to the 30th. This is our showcase event. And the purpose of our showcase event tonight is to give everyone who might not have seen uh, enough information about the BA Professional Week, a little bit of insight into what the week will hold for us all, what kind of sessions we'll be presenting, and some of the features of the uh, digital product we'll be using to share the BA Professional Week with the delegates like yourself who want to join you. Australia, IIBA Australia chapter is acknowledging the traditional owners of country throughout Australia. I'm here in Canberra, where we acknowledge the Ngunnawal people. We pay our respect to the elders past, present and emerging. Whatever part of Australia you're in, I encourage you to share uh, the local people where you live in the chat and pay your respects to the elders and the people of the country where you live and work. I'm going to jump straight in now to the keynote speakers for the BA Professional Week. Um, as was mentioned a bit earlier, if you have any questions, Kylie, who is helping us to hold and run the BA Professional Week, is emceeing the chat. So if you ask some questions in the chat or in the Q&A box, Kylie will answer the questions she's aware of, or she'll refer the other ones to Carl or myself. So to start with the keynote speakers, as we've moved the BA Professional Week to an online event, we've been able to tap into a fantastic international pool of speakers. So this includes presenters such as Angela Wick from BA Squared in the United States, Delvin Fletcher, the President and CEO of IIBA. Delvin will be giving us the closing keynote on the Friday. We've got Michelle Marie Mariato joining us uh, and Eduardo Nefotes. They're, they're joining us from Europe and sharing some fantastic sessions around their particular topics of interest. And you can find out the detail about uh, the sessions that every one of these speakers is presenting during the professional week on the BA Professional Week website. And the link for that is down at the bottom of each of these slides. It's bapd.iiba.com.au. If you go along to that website, you'll be able to see the topics that each of these speakers will be presenting about. I do have quite a bit of content to cover off this evening, so I'm not going to go into the detail of what Lindsay will be talking about in the upcoming, in her upcoming session. What I can say is we've had a massive response to our call for presenters and we've been able to pick the very best presenters from, as I said, not only across Australia, but across the world. We've used our networks with the chapter presidents and the international president, Delvin, to identify some really fantastic world-class speakers. So the fact we've gone online, Angela is able to present both to BBC and to our event, one, and those events being back-to-back -back one week after the other. In the past, she would have had to choose one event. As we've gone online, she's able to deliver world-class content at two different events on different sides of the planet, which is a fantastic opportunity and we're happy to make the most of that opportunity. Now, beyond the keynotes, we've broken the BA Professional Week into four streams. And our four streams are focused on the Connect, Innovate, Grow themes. The first stream of presenters I want to talk about are all presenting on the topic of grow. And the first 
grow stream is about growing your own capability as a practicing business analyst. So we've got some of Australia's leading business analysts, as well as some fantastic business analysts from international locations, right? We have Mark Keith from New Zealand Transport Agency. We have Edward Nabain. Edward is the president of IIBA South Africa. We've got Hayden Thomas, and Hayden is a favourite of IIBA Australia chapters at every location where he goes across Australia, whether it's in Sydney or Brisbane or even here in Canberra, his home turf. Hayden always turns on a fantastic performance. So, Alan, Roger, Brianna, Hayden, and Deidre. Chitra, Mark and Edward are all delivering fantastic sessions pitched to giving you the skills you need to be a better, more competent, sought after business analyst. Because we all know 2020 has brought a lot of things, but one thing it's brought is a challenging marketplace to be a practicing business analyst. There's lots of opportunities, but there's lots of competition. So if you come along to the BA Professional Week, these presenters will give you access to the techniques and skills you need to be more competitive in the business analysis market. The next stream I want to talk about is Connect. If the Connect stream is all around the kind of skills which might be used um, less frequently, but they certainly help you to stand out as a business analyst. So these are the playful BA type approaches, the skills of the modern age. If you can go back to your workplace talking about the sessions delivered in the Connect stream, people will really want to hear what you've had to say, what you've had the opportunity to learn. These are the business analysis skills which help you connect back to your customers, to better engage with those customers and understand how the product you are working on will help them deliver better business outcomes. So now I'm going to hand over to Carl, who's going to talk about the Innovate stream. Carl, over to you. G'day. Thanks very much. Um, so yeah, look, uh, first of all, I've, um, the whole, I just wanted to make note. So the whole link thing that just happened, that was my fault. And I uh, apologize uh, for that when I scheduled the, the time wrong. Good news though, is that I'm not actually in charge of scheduling the events for the actual event. So we can be confident that um, you'll get the links and that that will actually work a lot more effectively than what I did. So I apologize for that. So hopefully that uh, everyone, well, obviously everyone who was able to make it, uh, was able to get here. But yeah, look, this, um, the Innovate stream, I'm super excited about uh, the quality of presenters and who we've been able to get with, uh, with um, in, in this particular stream. So what we're talking about here is like, this is really about, this stream is really about where we're going as a business, as business analysts, about the future of the profession. If you've ever had that question or that conversation, which you might have said, well, you know, what's the role of business analysts in this agile way of working? There's no business analysts. Well, the presenters in this stream are going to completely blow that myth apart and going to recognise and demonstrate how business analysis is absolutely core to the way of working from now and into the future. So with the quality of speakers, so people like Tim Coventry, who I'm sure many of us know, former president of the IIBA chapter and a leader in the profession in Australia, he's going to be talking about the role in the evolution of business analysis in the particular role of product owner and how those, the skills that come from business analysis in being able to engage and understand users is going to, is 
is key to being able to be effective in business analysis, uh, sorry, in product ownership and making those types of choices. We've got the likes, um, one of the things as Gary mentioned in terms that's really exciting about running the online BAPD is that we are, we have the ability to have, we've got international speakers um, coming, coming on. So we have, uh, Ole Usuni, who is from South Africa. So my namesake in South Africa, who's gonna be specifically talking about gamification and how gamification plays a role in, in that business, in the business analysis activity, engaging with stakeholders, engaging with people, helping people to come up with new ideas and, and solve the types of challenges that we're working on in our projects and in our organizations. So again, just taking a really different and, and new approach in um, how we do our work. The Igor from Isobar Australia, again, he's, speaking about this image of the modern digital business analyst, which again is going to the heart of what does it mean to be a business analyst in this day and age? And that the conversation here, that this is not about doing the kind of transactional work, that, that it's not so much about doing the user stories and the, and the case notes, uh, the, the, the uh, case studies and project plans and, and that type of thing that typically the business analysts are known for doing, but more so about how do we interpret that information to really drive decision-making at the board executive and the, at the project at the executive and the board level. This is what the innovation stream is all about. And of course, you know, my presentation about moving, about how do we move as organizations from profit into purpose, which is really at the core of, there's some big challenges that we have to face in this world. We've got to deal with issues like climate change. Somehow we've got to work out how to get out of this pandemic, not just as individual projects and individual people, but as entire organizations and economies and nations. My presentation is all about that business analysis is absolutely fundamental to our ability to be able to solve big and complex problems like change, climate change. Without business analysis and without business engaging in these problems directly, these problems are not gonna be solved. And so that's what the innovation stream is all about. It's that big picture thinking about really driving our profession and where, we want, where we're going as, um, as individuals and as a community. So it's, it's super exciting. I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. So that's the innovate. And um, yeah, if you're, uh, it's gonna be, it's, it's excellent. There are gonna be some really great presentations. And so the next one, Gary, I think, if you wanna flick over the screen is, we're looking at, um, so the second stream in the, in, in the grow, uh, the grow field, I suppose, which is about growing your team and how you can, and the innovative and new approaches, the modern approaches that you can uh, apply within your practice and within your profession to help grow your team to be able to be more agile, to be more innovative, to be more collaborative. And, and Carl, we've got Damien online to uh, help us talk about that stream and how that can add value to all of our uh, members and attendees in how they want oh, to cool. grow the capability within their organization. And Damien, so Damien's one of the speakers. Are you there, Damien? You want yeah, to switch I'm, on? Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Gary. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. Yes, you're coming through fine. Yeah, yeah. And we've got Excellent. the uh, grow your team slide on, on the screen at the moment. Yep, yep. And... Uh, I can see you've got my photo, so that's great. So th this is an area that uh, I've always had a really keen interest in uh, myself. I've often been in situations where it hasn't just been about me acquiring skills and learning uh, from others, even though I find that really uh, uh, interesting and one of the, the main reasons why I attend events like this. But I'm also interested in how you can take uh, an enterprise and uplift its capability as an organization, which means uh, more than just the skills of individuals. It means things like standards, it means tools, it means whole new ways of thinking about delivery and the role that business analysis plays in delivery. I think that uh, for the people listening, we're, we're, I'm probably 
preaching to the choir a little bit when I talk about how uh, the work of business analysis is perhaps one of the roles that most makes a difference to the success outcomes of different initiatives. Uh, just simple things like understanding what problem you're solving and the scope of the change that you're uh, um, introducing into a business uh, makes an enormous difference. And if, uh, if you're able to bring a set of professional skills that you've established and professional capabilities within your organization, then uh, that puts you in a, a, a great position to achieve very successful project outcomes. It's great to see the lineup of uh, people that are um, prepared to share some of their perspectives today. And I can see there's a, a, a real diversity of perspectives here, lots of different points of view um, from people who uh, have been tackling this sort of problem from a lot of different uh, directions. So um, I'll, I'll be sharing some of the things that I've learned along the way, and uh, it'll be really great to uh, hear some of the uh, the lessons learned and you know what works, what doesn't work from different things that have been tried uh, from the experience of, of other people presenting um, over this uh, series of events. So Damien, without going into uh, too many details and, and blowing your story all in, in advance, have you got any particular um, case studies that you're going to discuss during your session? Uh, yeah, look, I, people who've listened to uh, or sat through my uh, presentations in the past will know that I, I love to bring things to life with some sort of story rather than just to have uh, dry, cold facts uh, shared in a presentation. So um, what I'll be doing is, um, rather than building everything around a single story, I'll be looking at uh, some of the challenges that organizations face in just one of the most fundamental parts of business analysis activity, which is how they handle requirements. And then I'll right. be using different uh, story, a series of stories and case studies to show uh, some examples of um, some of the principles that I'm, I'm sharing about you know, where it goes wrong and what it should look like when it goes right. That sounds really great, Damien. Thanks to Carl and Damien for going into those details about how the streams they are delivering into are really going to provide a great week for all the participants at our BA Professional Week. So I've noticed before that we had a couple of questions about the professional development um, outcomes that we can all get through participating in this session. Um, so by participating in the BA Professional Week as a delegate, we've had a look at how much content we're making available and at how much content we expect people to be able to take in and how much time we think people would really um, sensibly be able to seek from their employer to go offline and participate in this professional development. So although there's far more than 12 hours of content available and you'll be able to consume this content either in real time throughout the week or you'll be able to see the recordings after the week is finished, we're encouraging people to register for 12 professional development hours. So the details of how to record those hours, you'll be able to record those hours through the IIBA um, member portal and there's some instructions on our, on the BAPD website around how to download the instructions to uh, record your professional development. Um, what I'm going to switch to next is a video about the portal. The portal is how you will connect to the content that we're delivering. And I just need to change which screen I'm sharing. So bear with me for a moment. And it's this screen here. So what we're going to see now is a short video of delegate information about um, the on-air program and how you can connect to it as a delegate to participate in the sessions 
and to interact with your peer delegates and participate in networking and how you can engage with the sponsors and take up their opportunities that they're making available. Welcome to the online event portal. When you first log in, you'll be prompted to review and complete your profile, add a profile picture and review your privacy and device settings. Think of your profile as your virtual business card. Once you're in the portal, if you wish to change your settings at any point, you can click on your profile up here to do so. There is a frequently asked question section to the left of your profile. If you have any other questions or require support at any point throughout the event, click the red live support button in the header bar. We are standing by live to assist you. Once you've lodged a ticket with support, it will show where you are in the queue. And once a support member is available, a chat window will open up here to assist you. You are free to continue using the portal while you wait. We encourage you to actively participate in each event. And we've set up goals to help you engage and get the most out of your online event experience. For each item you complete, you will receive points to help you. Prizes will be given out during the event to those reaching their goals. As you can see here, a profile picture has already been uploaded and 50 points have been awarded. This is the main timeline that will be your dashboard throughout the event. The full program will be listed here. To learn more about a presentation, simply click on the name of the session and the presenter and session information will show on the right hand side. You can also choose favorite sessions you would like to attend and create a personalized timeline. Simply click the star next to the session and add to your personalized agenda. To view your personalized agenda, select the star next to filter. You're able to filter sessions by presentation title or author name or advanced search by session type, theme, keywords, date and time. To enter a session, select join. It will take you to the lobby of the session and the session will automatically commence at the programmed time. Live Q&A and discussion tabs are available as well as the ability to take notes throughout the session. At any time during the event, you can export these notes to your email by clicking the export button. The notes will be emailed to the email address listed in your profile. The poster gallery is available on the right hand side. To enter the gallery, select view. All posters for the event will be shown here. For more information on the poster or to view it in detail, select view. If the author has provided any resources or a PDF download of the poster, they will be available in the handouts section. Next up, we have the Meeting Hub. The Meeting Hub is a great place to network with your colleagues and other attendees. You can search for attendees, presenters or sponsors here and even advanced search by profile questions. Once you connect with a colleague, they will show in your connections here. Pending connections you have sent and any pending information and invitations for you will also show here. Once you have connected with a colleague, you're able to message, live chat, video call and schedule meetings. Any accepted scheduled meetings will show in your timeline. Any connections made throughout the event can be exported in the same way as notes. Simply click the export button and export your contacts. Networking functions will also be programmed throughout the event for additional networking opportunities. These will take the form of speed networking with short two to five minute conversations where you're randomly allocated to a chat with three other attendees. Once your time is up, you'll be able to join another randomly allocated conversation. Finally, we have the virtual exhibition. 
sponsors and exhibitors will be listed here in order of their level of sponsorship. Logos, organization names and profiles will be displayed in the overview. During exhibition breaks, if organization representatives are online, their profile picture will appear under the organization profile with a red dot above them. To enter an exhibitor's stand during this time, select Meet. A list of all representatives will show here. Delegates can request a live one-on-one -on -one meeting with you by selecting the Request Live Meeting button. You will join a queue, and once a representative is available, the live meeting will begin. Meetings can be recorded with permission from both parties. You can easily make a connection with the sponsors by opening the Meeting Hub tab and sending a connection request. If the exhibitor has provided any resources or brochures, they will show in their listing here. We hope you enjoy the online meeting. Okay, so I hope everyone uh, got some good value out of out of that video. My mistake. Sorry about that audio there. It continued on to the next video. So for people who joined tonight specifically to gain access to uh, a, a special offer. What we're happy to do for the people who've joined this evening is share a discount code. So the discount code of SHOW715 will be available for new ticket sales, cannot be a, a combined with any other discounts, such as if you're buying a, a corporate team, a group of tickets, and it's valid through the 12th of October. Now, the other thing I'd like to highlight, if you're going to buy a ticket, I really want you to buy it between now and Monday, or between now and Sunday, because on Monday, we will be sending out to people who've already bought a ticket, the opportunity to register their expression of interest in the workshops. So every year when we run workshops at any BA Professional Day event, the workshops are always in high demand, and people want to know which workshop they can get into to get the absolute most value from the time they're taking away from the workplace and pick up the most valuable skills. So if you have a ticket by Monday, you will have first choice at registering your expression of interest for a workshop. When the workshops are full, they will be full. So if you absolutely want to get your choice of workshops, you need to buy your ticket before Sunday. Now I just touched on there about corporate discounts. Anyone who wants to take up an offer of a corporate discount, you need to uh, check in with Kylie at BAPD at Australia.iiba.org. And we can arrange an invoice for you to purchase whatever number of corporate tickets your team requires. Carl, I understand you had something to say about how many people we've already got registered and how many places we have remaining. Well, I think that's um, all I just wanted to say, Gary, was like, as we can see, like this, we've really set up a fantastic environment for producing, for providing content in this online forum. It's something that the chapter's never done before. We haven't seen this type of approach for a conference in the business analysis space. And look, to be honest, we're one week behind the international uh, process as well, the international move to this online online movement. So this is an event that we definitely want to want to have. We've, we're sales, our, our ticket sales are, are really going well. We're well on the way, we're well, we're moving past 300, we're well on the way beyond, uh, beyond that too. Um, so, 
from people that are all over the country, all over all over Australia. We've sold tickets into New Zealand. We've got people from South Africa coming. Um, so this is an event that in these networking activities, you're going to get to meet people from all over the all over the world. We're going to have all of our speakers that will be participating in these activities, and this is a, it's a it's a great opportunity. So I'd say just because it's online, like it, this is absolutely a community event that we want it that that you just got to be a part of if if you're serious about your business analysis career. This is this is an event. This is the event to be at in Australia. So the other thing I think is worthwhile pointing out, Gary, is that the presentations, if you're registering for the presentations, you will be able to see them. They're, they'll be available in the portal. You'll be able to log in and you'll be able to get see the recordings. And so even if you can't make every single presentation live, you will have the opportunity. Those people who have registered and have been a part of the uh, part of the program, a part of the event, uh, are the ones that are going to be able to access those full recordings. It, so just it really is a great doesn't feature. Mean you'll miss out. Oh, the, yeah, the, it's a brilliant it, feature. It's um, so yeah, normally it's, when it's, you participate in a workshop, you either pick it up on the spot, or maybe it's in a handout, or you miss out. But if you come along to our professional day, you'll be able to review that content anytime up to six months after the event, and yeah, that 100%. really is a fantastic benefit over a traditional conference. So I guess we've got um, on the. What, Go ahead, Carl. Sorry, Gary. I, I just want to. So I just want to just re-emphasize to everyone on the call. Like, make sure you've got your tickets. Sign up. Make sure you send around and and tell all your colleagues at your workplace. If you're working in BA teams, like, get the word out there. This is this is the more people that are at this event, the more fun it's going to be for everyone, and everyone benefits. So, just you know, if you if you're here, uh, take it upon yourself. You know, go out and, and talk to your BA managers and your and your and your colleagues, even if uh, and your friends, even if they're working in other organisations. And yeah, let's let's make this uh, the cracking event that it's uh, it's going to be. And and That's Michael's <laughs> telling us in the chat that he's already made up um, made access of the offer from Bean Alliance around getting uh, the discount on the Indulge Your Senses hot chocolate. Um, so our, our sponsors really are a pretty diverse bunch this year. So especially with moving our event online, we've had to uh, think a bit more widely about what kind of organisations uh, we should take the sponsorships. Um, so we've got our traditional organisations like Business Analysis from Brisbane, Capsify and DDLS and DDLS have been a long-standing sponsor for a very very long time But we've also gotten on board with some uh, online marketing partners modern analyst and and requirements um, Some great websites to go along to and get information about uh, How to be a better business analyst We've also gotten on board with Bean Alliance for some great coffee and chocolate products. And a, a new Australian business talk called Town Cars Now. And I do understand that right now, uh, the, the amount of travel in some parts of Australia is limited. But when that opens up, organisations like Town Cars Now will really need the support from all of us to get their business back booming in Australia again. So we really look forward to everyone joining us. Now there's also some vouchers as, as part of this online experience, we really want everyone to take up every opportunity that the Event Air product provides. So we want people to participate in, in the uh, workshops, in the keynotes or the plenary sessions. We want people to participate across all four of the streams the grow your own skills, the innovate, the connect, and the grow your team skills streams. We also want people to engage with the sponsors and to participate in face-to-face -face networking. So to encourage people to participate in the whole range of experiences we're making available, there's some special um, prizes for people who do participate heavily We've got some vouchers from, from Dan Murphy's, a great partner for this event, to help us 
gain access to help encourage people to participate fully. Now there's another question here about the event being of value if you can only access after the event. A great um, feature of the portal where if you have purchased your ticket, if you're only able to go to two or three sessions during that working week, because it is a big commitment to take time away from the workplace and participate in professional development, you'll be able to participate in some of those sessions in your own time after work or any time for the next six months. Now, most of those sessions are packed with information, packed with details. So, the ability to consume that content in your own, at your own pace, in your own time, will really be fantastic. So there's another question here about the workshop. So Gary, just Gary on that one. So where people are actually also providing like copies and worksheets and the um, copies of the PowerPoint presentations and stuff like that, um, they'll also be available for download, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah. on, on that short video we shared, we saw that it has the posters area. And in the posters right. area, if there's any worksheets, if there's any slide decks, or if there's indeed, you know, infographics and posters that you can put up in your workplace. That's where all of our presenters have been working on that kind of content to make available for up to six months after the event. Yeah, absolutely. So the point there is that just if you can't make the event, if you can't make the um, the presentations, like obviously we're not going to all make every presentation. Like a lot of them are concurrent, and we're not going to be, you know, I'll be amazed if people are tuning in for like how many hours are there? Must be eighty or a hundred hours of well, and, content. And on top of that, with four <laughs> like, screens in parallel, you can't <laughs> consume it all. It's just not going to consume really it. Want all, everyone but, to get that opportunity. But over the next six months following on, you definitely can. And so, um, and that's only going to play into your own personal development um, and your capability, right? So this is, it's, this is fantastic value, what we've been able to bring together. And we're so proud um, of what the community and what the volunteers and Kylie and the conference design team have been able to do. So, and this is the only opportunity, right? So you won't, if you're not there, if you don't sign up and you don't register and be part of the event, you're not going to have access to this. So it's not like we're going to be switching in on free for free content for people later. So you, you got to get the benefit and you got to pay up and be a part of the ticket and it's going to be worth, it's going to be a part of the event and, and the right. ticket price um, is absolutely a bargain. And, and indeed that is right. Every, every, every ticket offering we have here, if you take up all of, um, all of the content, there's a massive amount of value. Um, it's well over a hundred hours of content. I haven't done the maths. I probably should have before tonight, but it's a lot. It's a <laughs> like um, check out the website, like people absolutely. check out the website. So, and, 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 see and the that is what I want to say to people. Go and look at yep. the program. It's on the website now. Go and work out which sessions you want to participate in live, which sessions you want to be there for the Q and A live with the presenter when they finish up versus which sessions you're happy to participate in that Q&A after the event. Catch it on live the week after, share it with your colleagues after the event and, and discuss it in, back in your workplace. So there was a question there around opening the workshop registrations and Kylie's highlighted that the email will go out 1 p.m. Monday, uh, 1 p.m. on the 12th. That's 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Um, and if you already have your ticket by that time, um, you'll get the email. If you don't have your ticket, you'll have to wait until after that big rush. And there will be a rush of people registering for those workshops. We've got one open question here. No, that was about the chocolates. So I hope everyone has. Um, picked so up just, a lot um, of great insight. Come. Oh, Gary, just flick back, flick back to the um, show the discount code. So, 
The um, discount code, uh, excellent. Yeah, the v have just answered the question. It has been answered on the Q&A, but just for everyone's yeah. benefit, there it is. So you can go to the website, at that website, like right now, as soon as like right now on this, um, on, as uh, soon as this webinar is finished, dial up that website, go and register your ticket, um, put that, put that, um, put that code in and, and uh, yep. join the show, so join the party. Code, show 715. And then, and then you're there, you're locked in, you're gonna be, you're gonna have your best opportunity to participate in the workshops. Like, you know, we've, we've got well over 300 people registering now. So that's gonna, that's gonna pack out the workshops in there. So if you don't, if you, if you're not, if you don't, um, if you don't have your registration by then, you, you'll probably miss out on that opportunity, which is, you know, workshop online. And so there's two parts to that, right? So these workshops, I just want to take a moment just to reinforce the importance of this workshop, Gary, because what you've got here, so, hello, COVID, how many of you have been working online and had to work out how the hell do I run a work online workshop? Right? As BAs, this is something that we need to do. So simply by participating in this activity, in participating in these activities, you're gonna see top leading professionals in how they do their workshops online, because that's what this is gonna be. So not only will you actually benefit from the direct content of the workshop, you're gonna benefit from the experience of learning how these people do it so that you can take both of those capabilities back and apply it in your own practice. And in this world, in this COVID-19 world, where we're in lockdowns and uh, remote working more and more, um, that's only gonna make you a better and more skilled and more valuable BA. And you're only gonna get that opportunity if you've bought your ticket and signed up and registered basically before the weekend. So don't bother, just do it now, book your spot and, um, and make sure tomorrow you let all your colleagues know and they can get in as well and, max, and give yourself the best opportunity to, um, to, to gain that experience with those workshops. And, and those tickets, you know, for a member, $175, when you take that 15% off, you know, it, it comes down to something like $150. The non-member price of $275, when you take your 30 something dollars off that, you know, it's about 240. That's a really great price point for the amount of content people are going to get. Um, Absolutely. So just just to answer the question, there's another question we got on the um, oh on the chat. Yeah. So just to re-emphasize, you need to register before Sunday um, so that you get that email, um, which will go out on Monday afternoon, and it'll only go to those people who have pre-registered as a bit of a bonus, as a bit of a um, you know thanks and congratulations for getting in early. So. Make sure you're a part of that group. Okay, thank you everyone for joining us. That's all the content we had for tonight. Um, and the link to the video that I shared and the link to the uh, slide deck that I just shared with all the, um, the um, features of the portal and the, different, the details of the different streams, that'll be going up uh, onto SlideShare a bit quicker than normal, and that sh email should be up tomorrow. So you'll be able to see that video again, you'll be able to show your boss, you'll be able to uh, encourage your team back at work to join in together and come along and join in our session. So I hope we'll you- get the uh, <coughs> Sorry, we'll ahead, get the no. video up. We'll, we'll get the recording of this video up and, um, and provide that uh, with the email as well, eh, Gary? Sure. Okay, and thanks Owen, that was great to hear that we've encouraged you uh, over the line to register to your ticket. Thanks for the feedback. I hope to see um, a lot of you do make the same choice as Owen and register for a ticket and I look forward to seeing you all at the professional week in three weeks time.